Hello, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. And today we're going to be talking about some dimensioning tricks that I'm hoping will save you some time. I should warn you that my dog is running around in the backyard trying to catch a squirrel, which of course will never happen, but you might hear some barking as a result of that. We'll just ignore it. So taking a look at the screen, we have a dimension that would definitely upset my drafting teacher, right? Because I have dimension lines crossing, heaven forbid. Now, how would you fix that in the past? I don't know, you could explode this dimension, heaven forbid, and you could break it manually. But there's a great tool that was added in a couple of releases ago that I wanna make sure, actually a few releases ago, that I wanna make sure that you know about called dim break. So I'm gonna select the dimension first, the one that I want to break, and then pick the one or more dimensions that it might cross over, and you will see it works just perfectly. And this is still an associative dimension, it's not broken up, which is good, it's not exploded. Now it's a smart dimension, if I'm smart break, if I move my cursor away from the other dimension line, you'll see that it will reheal itself. That's great, love that. Or if you move it in a location where maybe it needs to reposition the break like over that text that I have right there, you'll see once again it's smart, it will renegotiate the size that that break needs to be. Really nice feature. If you want to get rid of the break, you just go right back in to dim break and you'll see that you can remove the break. So. Not that we would, but just so you know, it's not forever. You can put it back to the way it used to be if you want to. So that's dim break. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at this one I use all the time. Here we have some very badly, these are definitely not evenly spaced, right? So that you need to make them evenly spaced. So if you didn't create them that way to begin with, what do we do? We kind of fake it, right? We grab these guys and move them around and go, oh yeah, that's close enough, right? <laughs> so there's a great tool that will, sort you out so you don't have to do any guessing anymore and that's called dim space. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the base dimension like it's asking me to do and I'm going to grab the other dimensions and you'll see I have a choice between giving it an actual value or choosing automatic in which case AutoCAD will kind of figure it out for you. I'm actually going to type in a value of 5 but you'll see how nice and evenly those are spaced. It just took me a few seconds to do. Love, love, love that command. All right, let's do one more. Let's come over here. Let's take a look at dim jog line. Make sure you guys know this is in the product as well. Sometimes we want to put a jog in a dimension line, right, to represent the fact that it's not the actual length on the screen because it would be too long if you put it the actual length on the screen. We don't want to jog it. So there is a command called dim jog line. That's a long one, I admit it. And I'm going to go ahead and select this dimension line right here. And then I'll pick where I want the jog location to go. And you'll see that it did, in fact, put a jog in there. I didn't break it or anything like that. It's, I can easily move it from one place to another. You have complete control over the size and things like that. So that is dim jog line. So there's three cool dimensioning tools. Give them all a try. They're going to save you lots of time. Uh, I'm happy to report the dog still has not caught the squirrel. <laughs> she never will. And I hope that you have a great rest of the week.